In this screencast, I'm going to briefly describe how to use the interactive simulation for partially miscible liquids. And in this simulation, there are two liquids that we mix, but they only completely mixed over a certain composition and temperature range. The simulation is on the Learn Chemie site at the link given here. And if we look at a snapshot of the simulation, we see that in this region, Outside of this envelope, we have complete miscibility. But within the envelope, point represented by the black dot, what we have are two phases. One phase is majority of component B, so the mole fraction of A is only 0.24. The other phase is majority component A, mole fraction of 0.72. And the boxes above then represent how much of A and how much of B, the size are proportional to the amounts. And then the size of the boxes on the right, these are two phases. One phase, beta phase, has mostly the blue molecules. And the alpha phase has majority green molecules. We can change the location of this black dot by moving the slider for temperature, moving the slider for mole fraction. So let's look at this simulation. So if I, for example, change the mole fraction, so I'm mostly mixing B, then you can see this box is large compared to A. And then the two phases, the amount of alpha phase is very small. That's proportional to this length here, amount of beta phase much larger, and the relative colors are proportional to the mole fractions in those phases. And then I go the other way. Now the alpha phase is much larger. Beta phase is much smaller. If I raise the temperature, I eventually get to the point where we have one phase, so the molecules are completely miscible in this region. So the idea is that over some range of temperature and mole fraction, we have phase separation. Outside of that range, we have complete miscibility for this binary mixture.